Tony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on The Outlaws, uh, starring Christopher Walken and uh, an ensemble cast from the co-creator of The Office comes and co-creator of Mayans MC, uh, not really all that relevant to a comedy, but okay, comes the story of a group of characters who are doing community service, I think in England, because there's a lot of English characters. So they're doing community service, and they're assigned to clean up this rec center. And they're all from different walks of life. There's all different reasons for doing it. Christopher Walken passed some bad checks. Uh, one of the guys is right wing. Another one, uh, the other one's a left wing militant. And I don't know what relevance that is. Um, there's a bad boy. There's a good girl. And like they actually rattle off the character types. You know, what, two of the characters have a conversation. They rattle off the character types. And then Greg at the end here. Um, was depressed and bought himself a prostitute, but it turned out to be a cop. So they're all uh, fixing up the um, the um, rec center, and they they find this money. It's a big giant pile of money hidden in the abandoned rec center. Some gangsters hit it, so they decide to keep it, and all hell breaks loose. So, because Christopher Walken is very sketchy, and all hell breaks loose because now the drug dealers want their money back. And these guys all took it, and uh, cleaning up is a dirty business. Uh, this is a series, by the way. It, it feels more like a movie to me, but, I mean, I guess you could do a season or two. I mean, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? How many seasons of this could you possibly do? Oh, God, I, I know the character, the guy who plays Greg, I know him. I can't think of the actor's name, though. But uh, this could be fun. I think this would be a better movie than series. Oh, God, I can't think of the actor's name. But I've seen him before in a few things. He is very funny. Um, but a series? No, I don't see it as a series at all. It's on Prime Video. Maybe one, one season. Maybe one season. Yeah, these are all the characters, and they're all going to clean up the rec center. Um, maybe you could do one season of this. Maybe two if you really stretched it, but man, that would be stretching it. This feels like a movie. It feels like it should have been a movie pitch. Why are you doing this as a series, Amazon? I mean, I guess you could do one season of it and then come up with a new plot for season two, but it, w it wouldn't be that these people would get together because they found money again. I mean, how would you get them together again? They're all from different walks of life. Some of them clearly don't like each other or would not like each other. So I'm not sure what you're going to do here. Anywho, that all being said, it looks like it would be a fun ride. I mean, look, I love Christopher Walken. He's, he's looking pretty old, but he's always fun to watch. Uh, the other actors look very competent. Um, Co-creator of The Office is a big plus, of course. I could definitely see it being a funny show just don't see the concept being all that sustainable I, I don't see you know once the gangsters catch up with them they you know they're obviously not going to kill him it's a comedy um so what's going to happen they somehow defeat the gangsters and avoid going to jail and the in the end they probably have to return the money or spend the money in order to avoid these guys or whatever i, I, I don't know what you're going to do here to keep this thing going Unless these, unless they form a gang, is that the, is that the concept? I don't. I'm not sensing that's the concept. I mean, you could, I maybe you could do a thing where they they're forced to become murderous, murderous gang members just to survive. I guess, but I would that wouldn't be a good path to go down for a comedy. I I would think the funny. Again, this is, this is a very movie concept to me. If this was a movie, I'd do first act. They're all, you know, they're all sentenced to community service. They go down to the rec center. They all hate each other. You know, you establish all the characters, a bunch of funny moments. And then they find the money. Changes everything, right? They decide to keep it. They think they're going to get away with it. They fix up the rec center. And, uh, and of course, act two. Some of the gangsters go down there like, what the hell happened? Where's our money? Oh, they fixed up the rec center. Oh, who fixed it up? 
And then they find out who fixed it up, and then they come after them. They go after them one by one. They're looking for the money. And, of course, you know, Christopher Walken at first says, don't spend the money, just hide it. But one of them can't help himself and spends the money. And they catch up to that guy, and they either torture him or kidnap him or whatever. Um, they're looking for the money, or they kill him. Like, if I was doing this as a movie, we'd have one guy who was a total, total jerk. He would be the one guy to just take his share of the money, spend it, you know, I don't care. Ah, I got my money. And he just takes off, and they find him. They, they torture him and kill him. And he, he gives them up the names of the other guys. And he's just a scumbag anyway, so you don't feel bad in the movie. But, you know, the other guys meant well. They're all in various financial straits. They're, they're not doing anything bad with the money. And then the gangsters come after them with the insane murderous intent. And then in the third act, it's about them surviving and turning turning the tables on the gangster. They have to come together. You know, at first they negotiate, okay, we'll give you most of the money back, but, you know, and then they come up with some plan to trick them or get them arrested. I mean, I think that's going to generally be the plot, but it's going to be over eight episodes or ten episodes instead of two hours I, I'm not sure where you're going with this Amazon and if it's popular and you, you green light a second season I don't know where you'd go with it in the second season <laughs> how could you make this work again it's a you know it's sort of like a one in a million concept right various characters stumble upon something it's basically characters finding treasure Although a very realistic way, right? You could totally see drug dealers hiding a big giant thing of money inside an abandoned rec center. They didn't think any, no one's been here in years. Nobody cares. We'll hide our money here. We'll come back for it later. Nobody goes in here. And then boom, somebody finally does and finds the money and they got to find it. So it's a good plot. You can't sort of, that's like sort of lightning in a bottle though. When you have a good plot like that, you can't do it again. What are they going to do? Find another $5 million in something? That doesn't make any sense. So, um, yes, I love it. For one season, maybe. Love Christopher Walken. Will I watch it? Well, it's on Prime. I might watch the first episode, see what they do. I have a sneaking suspicious, though. Uh, suspicion. Suspicion. Then I'll get very tired of them dragging out what's going to happen because I'll be able to see it in the description I just said, right? I'll be able to go, oh, come on. You know, you're really, we're going to have to wait till next episode to see the gangsters. We're going to have to wait till next episode for them to discover the money or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. Is this basically a way to sell a four hour movie? You know, over eight episodes, right? Half hour each, four hour movie. Maybe. Maybe. All right. Well, that's it for me, Tony D. And Little Joan, I am going to do the live stream tomorrow. I think I do have something going on. Maybe I'll do it early. I might do it early. Yeah. So look for it early. I'm going to try to like just get up and do the live stream, I think. So maybe around noon. I'll, I'll announce it before I crash out. Um, yeah. Maybe I'll do that. I might be doing something later in the afternoon. All right. So look for uh, that. And uh, check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble, of course, for our other two videos. We do four videos a day. Four. I know. It's very tiring on Little Doggy. We do four videos a day, including a news blast and a Hollywood hot take. And we'll see you tomorrow.